So I've decided to start doing 30 day challenges of all the spiritual and self improvement habits I've wanted to try out. What I'll be doing is picking one habit or activity I would like to try out and then add it to my routine for 30 days. It will only be one habit at a time so that I know the benefits are from this habit and I think that 30 days is a long enough time to start seeing benefits. So I've decided to do Qigong for 30 days and I've always been interested in activities such as these which incorporate meditation as well as physical exercise. And there are four main reasons for this. Firstly, we know that the body and the mind are interconnected and when one is not functioning it affects the other such as when you get a flu and then you can't concentrate or do any work. And secondly, I want to keep my body in the best possible shape so that I can think clearly about new concepts and get the most from my meditation and spiritual practices. And thirdly, I think meditation with movement is closer to real life and that helps for the benefits from meditation to more easily filter into your daily lives and reduces the risk of only meditating for 30 minutes and then continuing your life as usual. And finally, because there's movement involved, this will prevent one from getting dozy or even falling asleep. So I'm into day 5 of my practice, and I haven't noticed much change. But I thought I would talk a bit about what is Qigong and what I'll be doing. So Qigong is a generic term for a broad range of styles relating to Qi cultivation, which can involve postures, movements, breathing and meditation. What I'll be doing is I'll be performing Qigong every morning as I wake up, and this will replace my morning meditations. Now there are a number of different sequences you could follow, such as the Yi Jin Jing or the Wu Xin Qi. And there are many other options which one could follow, but I think it is more important that you pick one you like and stick with it, and then focus on these three aspects. Firstly, intentional movement, which is careful, flowing and balanced. And secondly, rhythmic breathing, which is slow, deep, and coordinated with the fluid movements. And thirdly, awareness, which is calm and focused on what one is doing. And I will be following a video recommended to me during my studies, which performs the Yi Jing Jing. This is one of the oldest forms and consists of a number of postures. And if it is performed consistently, it will strengthen the sinews and tendons and promote the free flow of qi. Unfortunately, the video I followed with explanations and guidance on each pose is no longer available on YouTube. So I've provided another link, which is a part of the video, but just shows the entire sequence without the explanations. And to enable me to follow the forms without having to stop and watch each form, I'll slowly incorporate the forms into my practice. I'll do one to two postures a day. What this means is that I'll only be doing the complete practice around day 10. So why would you want to do Qigong? Through my research, I've found that Qigong has a number of historical benefits, such as cultivating and enhancing the functional essence of human beings, and it has been used to treat a variety of diseases. And then the current research on Qigong has found the following benefits. It keeps the body healthy by improving bone health. It improves cardiopulmonary fitness. It aids psychological factors such as depression and anxiety. And if you would like to check the research I've done, please check the references below. So it's the final day of my Qigong challenge. And I won't lie, I was looking forward to the end of this challenge. And I don't know why as it fits all the categories which I like. It's a combination of movement, breath and meditation. Now at day 30, the movements and sequences have become easy to remember. So I don't spend much time thinking about what's next, but I still find myself drifting off and thinking about other things during the practice, just like my meditations. So what benefits did I notice? Well, I didn't notice any changes in my energy levels or health, but the two noticeable benefits I experienced from this practice was that it loosened my body quite nicely from the morning stiffness and it wakes me up if I'm a bit groggy. One of the reasons why I might not have got any benefit is that some research says that you have to practice this for 10 years before you can realize the true benefits of the practice. So will I continue this habit? Well, I was looking forward to the end of this challenge and now that it has come and I'm reflecting on it, I seem to have changed my mind and want to continue the practice. And I'm going to look into a few different sequences for the next few weeks and then decide. 
but I would definitely recommend that you try this practice yourself. Give it one to two weeks so you can get a good idea of what it's like. And then let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.